All right, so I thought I'd take you on my morning routine a little bit. This is on the day that I don't babysit and I do not work. So, come out here, drop off the milking supplies and head into the greenhouse. So I come in here to actually get the chicken feed, which is down here in this bucket. And I get a couple scoops, take it out there. I actually toss one on the ground, they eat that, and then I put the rest in the feeder. Check the water, um, and just kinda do a little check on them. garden is still pretty green. I've actually got some plants to probably pull out today. So here we go. There's one of the coops and then the main coop. We got all the chickens out here in this run. I have bird netting that's actually a couple years old. It really needs to be taken off of here. It's kind of like I guess dry rotted I guess you could say from the weather. And they could probably get out if they want to. We did have one that was getting out, and I put her down in this so she can't get out of there. But so I've got to get some new, either that or clip their wings. I haven't decided which one I want to do. I mean, we've not tried clipping wings before. So I'd be curious if you do, if you have chickens and you clip their wings, or maybe if you put something over so they can't get out. We used to free range these, um, which I don't mind doing, other than they poop all over the yard. But right now they get into my garden and kind of make a mess. I let them out the other day uh, because we're kind of at the end of the season where most of the stuff in here, it doesn't matter. It's slowing down, so I don't care if they get into it. And they did enjoy that day, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna free range them this fall or not. So we'll wait and see on that. These chickies here, one there is the one that was getting out of the other one. These two and this one I hatched out and I'm pretty sure that one is a rooster which I don't really need but I'm hoping that one isn't and then this one is a blind rooster. He wasn't blind when we got him and I'm not sure what happened. I think he got into a fight with another rooster but other than that he's okay. I mean his I don't know so he stays in here he eats in here and drinks and he's fine the plan is to put them all, well, most of them, I'll probably take the hens out of here, put the roosters that we have in a mobile coop out in the pasture. This coop here is mobile, not very easy to move. Um, it is kind of heavy. I will use probably less metal next time and make this lid maybe where it's split in half or I'm not really sure if I want to make all of it open if we ever make one of these again but definitely want to put wheels on it and something to pull it with because it's kind of awkward to move around. I basically, you can kind of see if you can see down there, I just kind of move it back and forth. And, um, but now that the grass has kind of slowed down, it, I've moved it a little bit further this way than what I normally do. So I don't know what I'll do with this. If I'll just kind of keep this here or um, what I'm gonna use it for. It works really well for like broody hens and if they have just hatched out their chicks, uh, put them in here and that keeps them protected, but they can also get out and kind of, you know, eat and do what they're supposed to do. Okay, got that done. Checked on the other ones, I checked the water, gave them some more food. They have some in there already, so now we're good to go. We're gonna put this back in the greenhouse and then we're just gonna kind of walk through the garden as we go out to see Miss Annabelle and milk the cow. You can see in here I've got like, I don't know, this in here needs to be cleaned up. I saved cardboard to put in my garden. I've got like quite a bit here. This is the weed fabric, commercial weed fabric that I've got to put out where the uh, where the caterpillar tunnel is going. So that's something I'd like to start on today. I try to kind of plan my projects. It's really cool out and nice out today. This is like really nice weather for September. And um, so I'm hoping to get some stuff done. I've kind of cleaned in here a little bit. I've got some weeds growing up and I've got some, I think some, a wasp nest behind a chair. So definitely got to get that cleaned out of there at some point. But that is the plan today is to get some projects done. Yeah, and so I even have starts that even have blooms on them that I have yet to plant. Probably shouldn't have started those yet. All right, so we're gonna walk through the garden here. 
kind of messy. The basil is doing really well. And like everything is green, it's really enjoying the humidity, but I'm gonna be taking some stuff out of here because like these tomatoes are just kind of, I think they're on their last, some of them are on their last leg, I guess you could say. But I do have some, well, can't see that one. Some little melons over here. Definitely got some pumpkins, but check this pumpkin out. Uh, and the squash bugs. This pumpkin is growing in between. <laughs> I can't even get it out of there. And definitely got to spray those. Do got some pumpkins hiding in here though. We'll see how these do. I don't know about you, but I am ready to pull some stuff out of the garden. It's kept me really busy. I picked some more stuff the other day and I've been drying peppers and drying zucchini. I actually was drying cucumbers. I'm gonna try some cucumber powder. I don't even know. I'm just uh, trying to do some new things. Try not to can everything or freeze everything. Drying is kind of new this year. I've had the food dehydrator for quite a while, like for years. Just never used it a whole lot, so we're gonna use it more this year. All right, here we are in the barn. Miss Annabelle, can you see Miss Annabelle waiting patiently for me? I'm actually out here a little bit later on the day that I don't have to work or babysit. I actually take a little bit more time in the morning, get out here a little bit later. I try not to vary it too much because I am out here early on Monday and Wednesday. So hopefully that doesn't affect her too much, but she's probably been waiting on me for a little bit. But I'm gonna get her feed ready and the goats feed ready. And then uh, maybe I can show you if I can do this one handed kind of how trained she is and hopefully she doesn't make me a liar on that. Miss Annabelle, how are you doing? Are you ready to eat? I know you're ready to eat. You're always ready to eat. So basically I thought I was recording and I wasn't through the whole process of getting this together. So I will go over it shortly. I have these two trash barrels basically. Uh, one has dog food in it and uh, can't get that one open. One has dog food in it and the other has the feed in it. Um, so the goats get a, a scoop of the sweet feed and I put that in these two. The dog food goes in here and then I put Annabelle's food in here, sprinkle a little diatomaceous earth, get a little bit of sweet feed, sprinkle, mix up, and then the rest of this is for the goats to keep them inside. If you know, if you have livestock or if you have goats, you know they are very food motivated. So, <laughs> I gotta give them a little bit to keep them from coming out. So I leave this here, take this with me. We'll see if this works today, hopefully it does. So but basically that in there. And then Annabelle is pretty trained to where she should go, right where she's supposed to. And everybody else stays in the pen because they have food and they know that I'm getting ready to feed them. So they stay where they're supposed to stay. So I just do her head gate because I'm not really afraid she's going to go anywhere, but just in case. All right, so now we just take the rest out and then I shut the door, get the animals out of here. Okay, so I did not want to try that one handed. I was afraid I would let animals out or something. So basically I take it out, set it on the ground and uh, feed Hattie, our livestock guardian dog. Then I just check the water, make sure that the buckets I have and the trough and everything is full. So then I shut the door because whenever I'm done feeding Miss Annabelle or done milking Miss Annabelle, I will actually take and uh, put some alfalfa in there and which will cause her to go back in there. And if I don't have the animals out of there, they'll actually try to come out. So it's important to keep lids on the containers that the food is in. Um, I should probably have something else around that, but hopefully they can't get out in here. Um, we had quite a few dairy goats before, and went so kind of know that they, if they're very motivated for food, so if they can get to it, they will. But I'm gonna go ahead and milk her. Hopefully I can do this and show you guys. I did not bring anything to set my camera on, so we'll see how that works out and uh, get with us though. One thing I do is I spray her a lot of times. Today it's probably not as needed, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray her and she does have a little, she's caught something. Looks like it's healing though. So I usually just go around her and kind of spray her down a little bit. I do have a fan for those hot days 
Um, today is not one of those. It's actually kind of nice out. But this also helps me as well because then I don't have the flies buzzing around me either. So make sure I spray this side extra good. So the next thing I do is I actually tie her foot and I put this board behind her only because she does kick. Um, sometimes if she gets impatient with me or if she runs out of food or if she doesn't like what I'm doing, she will kick. When I first got her, she would kick the bucket over and make me so mad. So I just tie her foot back. It doesn't hurt her. Um, she knows I do it, and um, it's soft, kind of uh, a real soft rope. It seems to work out okay. All right, next thing up is cleaning her off. She's actually pretty clean today, and she's going to be so upset with me because I am talking so much, and she's going to be done eating. But um, I have my milk bucket here that's clean. I've got my warm water in here that, and the strip cup that I will use after I clean her off. I have some white washcloths basically that I bought for this and I clean these and wash these on sanitary. Um, I've got my utter balm stuff that I make for after. I've actually got some rubber gloves in here too because I have um, contact dermatitis on my hands and I think that's what it's from. So I wear gloves. I have for about a week now or a few days. She's getting a little antsy. Yeah, she's like licking it clean. So we better get started. <laughs> probably going to be wondering what in the world are you doing I'm done eating and you haven't even started yet <laughs> let's bring out warm soapy water about being too gentle because you definitely want it kind of helps the milk let down as well because when a calf nurses they're not that gentle I usually bring about four rags out here with me actually clean her off with three and then I have one that I dry with if she's really dirty or if I think I need more than I just use the other side. But usually, for the most part, if I keep the stall cleaned out, then she stays pretty clean. Okay, I'll just drape that over the top of my filter on my jug. Get rid of my water. I know, girl, she's eyeing me. She's like, what are you doing? Come on, move, Simba. One. All right, come on. Get me out of the way. That's not out of the way. He likes his breakfast. Got that done. Now it is time to head in 
and eat some breakfast. And then I'm going to come outside and I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to try to get the mower started, air up the tire, <laughs> and I blocked off one of the pastures while I was out there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to mow that. I was doing really well mowing them and uh, moving them back and forth, but this hot weather that we had and everything just kind of caught up with me and I haven't really been able to mow like I wanted to mow. So the grass, once it gets so tall and goes to seed, it starts to die and starts to get kind of hard and tough. So hopefully I can kind of reverse that a little bit and I'm really hoping so. I'm really new to this whole pasture management thing. The point of getting the mobile coop done is to kind of get them out there, scratching around, moving some of the uh, manure around and uh, I don't know we'll just have to see if they can kind of help me out a little bit so I got like lots of projects I'd like to get done before fall um, it's really close like what this month <laughs> so we'll see if I can get it all done all right so I just mowed off All right, I'm really hoping my lawnmower starts back up. But this is where my caterpillar go. My caterpillar tunnel is going. It is 75 feet long, so it'll be approximately 100 feet long once the tapered ends are done. I just mowed this down really close. I weed eated around the rebar that my husband set. So now I just have to get the PVC ready. I already have all that, but I do have to glue it together because I only have 10 foot links and it called for 20s. We couldn't find 20s in our local hardware store so our home store um, so this is another project but I wanted to get this mowed down because I'm trying to kind of kill the grass off a little bit before I put the commercial fabric down and um, so this is another project that I gotta do but right now since I've already eaten dropped off our son at his grandpa's because he's mowing I'm gonna get in here because I blocked this off like I mentioned earlier and I'm gonna get this uh, pasture mowed this is the pasture behind the barn it's about an acre so I'm gonna mow this off. It looks a little better. All right. So guess what? It didn't restart. So I'm off to the barn and jump start with a formula. Both pastures mowed Get around the mobile coop mode thinking about putting the tarp on it but I only have about well actually I probably don't have time I have 30 minutes before I have to leave and I really probably should take a shower I have grass all over me and I'm itchy so that's probably what I'm gonna do go in grab a quick shower a quick bite to eat and then head into town for just a little bit and then I'll be back here <sighs> this evening and I can do some more stuff. I'm telling you this okra like it has beautiful blossoms. I don't even know what to do with okra and it is going crazy. I didn't think it was going to do very well but then in the last like week or week and a half it's exploded. I had to show you this though. Check out this pumpkin. I'm not even sure. I can't remember which kind it is. It looks a little better now but it looks like it had just melted on the ground. I actually have this net over the top of it because I had the chickens out. I can't remember. I think it's a giant. I'm not really sure. But the okra is like, I don't know, seven, eight feet tall. I'm gonna have to come out here and pick some more, I guess. You know, I was wondering if anything got on okra because I didn't see anything. And there's a little caterpillar. I did find some peppers while I was outside. Orange lunchbox peppers. So I should probably always make sure the camera is running. I was just talking and was not recording. So I just got back from running errands. Well, not just got back, but I ran some errands, did some stuff in town and got home, picked supper, got that ready. No one else is home right now. It's kind of been a crazy summer. And so 
the plan is now to go spray the squash bugs that I saw earlier because I didn't get to do that earlier. So I'm going to make the mix and you can see how I do that, which I actually did that in another video, but you can watch it again in this one. But it's just kind of crazy. I did some dehydration. I've been dehydrating a lot of different things. Um, I've did some, got some nata, nata pinos. I've done an assortment of peppers. I've done some squash, some cucumbers. Um, I've also done some tomatoes. So right now I have tomatoes and nata pinos going. I'm hoping the nata pinos are still good. I actually cut them up Tuesday. I probably should have waited, but I just I had so much. And now I have a whole basket in there ready to be cut up or done something with. So I got to figure out what I want to do with all that. But let's go ahead and make this, which I probably should have showed you the dehydrating part, but um, maybe sometime. I think I have a video on that too though, so you can see what I was doing. All right, so this is just a two gallon sprayer and some soap. So basically I'm gonna fill this up two gallons and then I'm gonna put like a tablespoon or two of soap in it and that's it. Don't dead, the dead plant. I do have more that are alive. I actually broke that one off, so. You don't want to put the soap in first because then you're going to get a lot of suds. Oh, like that. I didn't mean to fill it up so hard. That thing is really hard to turn off. All right. So pull that out here. Pull a little bit of that out. Okay. So you can see a little bit of soap left in there. So what I'll do is just... Score some in there and that's it. Put the lid on it, I'm ready to go. So the great thing about this is I can use any soap that I have and it works really well. Just gotta make sure that that's it, that will turn. All right, so that's it. We'll take this out there and spray some squash bugs. It does the trick, I'm telling you. It works really well. Okay, did some battling with the squash bugs. This is actually one of my sugar pie pumpkins. And um, looks like I've got this one. I've got a couple more or so on here. And I've got the one on the other side that actually ended up called in, in between the panels. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out. But gotta kinda like, gotta got a, kinda got a jungle going on over here. I need to probably pick cucumbers over there and pull those plants. Sunflower is falling over, it needs to go. This bed needs to be cleaned out. It's just kind of on its last leg. And of course some weeds. So I've got some weeding to do probably tomorrow. This is horseradish that I bought and planted. And I think I planted six of these. And so far three have came up and possibly a potato. I guess that was left maybe from when I harvested earlier this year. And the okra. Does it ever stop growing? I think I just picked this, I don't know, yesterday? I'm pretty sure I picked this yesterday. And I already have quite a bit more actually. <laughs> I don't have my, I need to go get my snips and my long sleeve shirt on probably and pick some of this. I'm thinking this is gonna be pulled out because I have way too much okra. I don't even I don't even know what to do with it other than dry it right now. All right, so I think that's it for today. I'm going to go in and eat dinner and think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm babysitting my grandbaby tomorrow. It looks like I need to pick some tops off of the basil and dry that and probably pull up some pepper plants. I'm probably going to pull up some tomato plants too, feed those to the chickens, put some in the compost pile. I think it's time. It's September. They're not doing a whole lot other than like worms getting on them now again. So I think those are going to go out of there. And then the sunflowers, they're done. So I'm going to pick those out too. And uh, the zinnias are coming up though. I think I, I don't think I planted very many zinnias there. Maybe six and um, got some zinnias right in my walkway. That didn't work out so well for me. So, but I do have... I do have a couple of tomato worms, whether, you know, 
to get on other stuff that I need to pick off and feed to the chickens. So. Okay, I got a very small harvest. Did pick some more okra. I am headed in now. Well, I hope you enjoyed part of my day. Uh, it's not every day. It's kind of only on the day that uh, I don't work or babysit. So tomorrow will look a little bit different. Similar if I can get outside and get in the garden. We'll see. With the grandbaby here and he's uh, about seven months old. So he's moving, starting to learn how to move. So I don't know. We'll see. He may come out with me. I don't know. Maybe in the playpen or the stroller. Who knows? But anyways, so I harvested a little bit and I'm going to head in, eat my dinner. So remember to be a lovely light today.